Hello and welcome to part one of my tutorial series where we'll learn to create a golf game just like this one. First make a ball sprite or if you've remixed my assets you should already have one which you can use. Put in a Wang Green Flag clip block, then create a new custom block called Level Loop. Make sure to not run without screen refresh. In the Level Loop custom block, make the ball go to minus 200, zero. Also, you should add in a show block as well. Create three variables named speed x, speed y, and shots. Then, in the level loop custom block, set them all to zero. Add in a forever loop under your scripts. Then create a new custom block called change x by speed x. Then add a text input called sx. Remember to run without screen refresh. Call the block in the forever loop and inside the input put in the variable speed x. Then in that, add a change x block and put the sx input into it. Add an if block, an if touching the edge, change x by 0 minus sx, effectively moving it back out of the edge. Under that, Add a set speed x block to speed x times 0 0.8, adding friction. Create another custom block saying change y by sy and add a text input called sy. Remember to run without screen refresh as well. In our new custom block, make it change y by sy. And then if touching the edge, we'll make it move back out of the ground. Change y by 0 minus sy. Then set speed y to 0. In the forever loop, change speed y by negative 1.5. Then call our new block, putting the speed y variable in the input section. Our ground physics currently aren't very realistic. So set speed y instead of 0 to speed y times negative 0 0.3. Add an if block, and if the absolute value of speed y is less than 2, then we'll want to set speed the speed y variable to zero create a new variable named in air for all sprites in the change y by sy custom block but change in air by one and if touching edge set in air to zero In our forever loop, add an if block with two boolean and blocks. In the first section, put if in air is less than two. For the other two sections, put an equals zero boolean block. And then in those blocks, put speed x and speed y variables. Add another if block and inside it put mouse down. Then, create a new custom block called shoot and run without screen refresh.
change shots by one in the shoot custom block. Then set speed x to mouse x minus x position divided by 8. Then do the same with the speed y variable instead using mouse y minus y position. Just one more bit of code to do. In the change x by speed x blocks, below our other script, add an if block and put if the absolute value of speed x is less than 1. If so, then we'll want to set the speed x variable to 0. I really do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Comment any suggestions or bugs down below. And remember to subscribe and follow me on Scratch. Hopefully part 2 of this series will be released soon. Thank you for watching.